I see you bought the heroic med pack. Yeah, I used John's credit card. Who's John? The human that lives here with me. I see. Do you think the maps were worth ten dollars? Yeah, who doesn't have ten dollars? I wiped my ass with ten dollars. That's not what I asked. I asked if you thought that the maps were worth it. I don't understand the difference. I didn't think so. Personally, I don't think the maps are worth ten dollars. Why? Rats Nest and Standoff just don't appeal to me very much game bloody wise, so really, if I paid the ten dollars, all I'd probably be doing is messing around in Foundry, which doesn't really seem worth a sixth of the game's retail price to me. And the Foundry Sandbox idea sounds like something that should have shipped with the game to begin with, considering Halo 3 has 11 maps, not enough of which are closed borders maps, and Call of Duty 4 has like, 20. You can argue that Call of Duty 4 multiplayer maps use identical geometry as the campaign mode so they're not really new environments and you could say that Infinity Ward cut corners in that respect, but it doesn't detract from the fun in either mode regardless. My point is that I don't really think the heroic map pack is worth it. The map pack should have been a freebie, in my opinion. That was quite a mouthful. I guess you are used to that kind of thing. Nice one. I see what you did there. Instead of addressing my points, you took everything that I said and turned it into a sexual joke, implying that I suck on men's penises. LOL indeed. Whatever, you're just too poor to afford the new maps. It's not a competition about who has the most money, you fucking idiot. It's about a personal sense of worth. But I guess that's a concept that's too complex for your hopeless, juvenile, idiotic brain to understand. Hogback, 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 you're poor. You can't afford stuff.